Players are going to have to find a new way to virtue signal. Uh, they won't be able to do it on the ice this season. The NHL making moves to ban rainbow tape on hockey sticks. This comes after, well, they got rid of the rainbow jerseys, and that was <laughs> because of a lot of backlash. Here we have uh, Province Sports. NHL bans players from using tape under updated theme night guidance. This has even <laughs> gone across uh, the NHL. This is the whole franchise now nhl bans players from using pride tape under updated theme night guidance says toronto sun writers the nhl sent a memo to teams last week clarifying that players cannot what, what players can and cannot do as a part of theme celebrations this season including a ban on the use of rainbow colored stick tape for uh, the pride nights that have become a hot button issue in hockey well, it's a hot button issue because Largely, people don't care. Why? Stop shoving it down people's throats is what people are saying. The Post Millennial also reporting on this. NHL bans pride tape in effort to avoid putting players in a difficult position. Well, why would they be in a difficult position? Well, maybe because they don't believe in this stuff. Maybe they have other beliefs. Maybe they... What about their beliefs? Are we going to have... Uh, are we going to have, uh, you know, Roman Catholic tape on sticks? Are we going to have... Uh, Islam tape on sticks? Is this something that's going to go forward? No, of course. It just gets ridiculous at that point. So they're not doing this. They're just saying enough is enough. People want their stuff represented all over the place. That's too much. Why don't we just do the thing that uh, we've always done and play hockey with matching uniforms and matching attire under the new guidelines. Players cannot alter their equipment to show support for various causes. It uh, be it pride, military appreciation, or hockey fight, uh, hockey fights cancer. They can, however, do as they please off of the ice. Use your use your platform that you get as a player, and uh, you know your notoriety to to advocate for whatever cause you'd like. You just can't do it on the ice. People are just kind of tired of it at this point. And again, it's going across the way. You know, military appreciation, that's been uh, a big thing. Don Cherry, obviously a massive, although he, he's been canceled, so he's gone. Uh, you're not allowed to have him around, I guess, uh, for hockey, but he's still a big name in hockey, and a lot of people still respect him. So, yeah, and even fighting cancer, which, uh, guess what? Um, anybody can get that. Anybody can. In response to the news, players such as Toronto Maple Leafs uh, uh, D-man Morgan Riley said he would continue to be involved in the community and offer support to those to those communities and their groups that uh, want that. Uh, yeah, of course, you can give your support however you want. Just don't do it on the ice. That's all that people are asking. The only difference uh, this year is that we're asking the clubs not to employ use of the players on the ice. NHL Deputy Commissioner D uh, Bill uh, Daly uh, said in an interview with uh, Sportsnet, we had some issues last year with <laughs> players feeling uncomfortable sporting certain causes, and we didn't want our players to be put in a situation that situation going forward. When pressed on on why the NHL decided to ban the use of cause messaging in quotes, instead of allowing individuals to decide for themselves, they, Daly explained that the goal was to ensure none of the players were put in a difficult position if they found themselves to be the only ones not partaking in a themed display. I've reported about this on the channel pr previously, and here we have it here. A number of players uh, made the news after refusing to deck themselves in the pride gear last season, including Philadelphia Flyers, uh, Ivan Pro, uh, Pravar Pravarov, uh, who cited his Russian Orthodox faith and Stahl brothers and James Reimer. Now, that story with Ivan, uh, it, it was a big story because he, he said, no, I'm not going to do it. And uh, there was a big boycott at the time. They tried to boycott him. And actually, his jersey sold out. His jersey, uh, you couldn't get your hands on it uh, because everybody was saying, I want, I want that guy's jersey. Uh, he stands up for a good cause, and we're going to stand up as well. Now, now, this being said, it's not against anybody who wants to live a particular way. It's just enough is enough. Stop shoving it down people's throats. People want to just watch the game. That's it. Just leave, leave that to them.
Now, you can play, <laughs> it took to Twitter to talk about this, you can play Speaks on the NHL's decision to dis uh, disallow pride symbols of any kind, including pride jerseys and pride tape on the ice for warm-ups and games. Ironically, Pride, uh, you can play, says <laughs> on their bio, says you can play team believes athletes should, should be judged on talent heart and work ethic, not sexual orientation, gender identity, or expression. I couldn't agree more. Be whatever you want to be. Uh, but but uh, when you show up to, to play, the, it's a different story. Just leave it alone. Leave it alone. Nobody's got their things, their themes coming out. Now, they wrote, hockey is for everyone. This is not the way forward. It's now clear that the NHL is stepping back from its longstanding commitment to, uh, to inclusion and continuing to unravel all of its one-time one industry-leading work on 2SLGBTQ plus belonging. We're now at a point where uh, all the progress made and relationships established with our community is in jeopardy. I, I disagree. I don't think it's in jeopardy. All those things can be still there. You just don't have to put it on the ice. You know, some people are offended by it. Leave that one. Leave that one to you know each individual wanting to do the things that they want to do. Make making decisions to eradicate our visibility in hockey by eliminating symbols like the jerseys and pride tape immediately stunts the impact of bringing in more uh, diverse fans and players into the sport. Uh, how is that actually going? Were you bringing in a lot of people? Because uh, I don't think the numbers are showing that. People are falling off largely. Uh, the younger generations are actually caring less and less about sports in general. They care a lot more about esports these days, especially after the whole COVID thing that um, you know was pushed on all of us. Uh, a lot of people got into electronic games and playing video games. And now there's a whole uh, industry of esports. Uh, but that's that's that <laughs> now uh, coming from people on Twitter, of course, you know, you got this person here saying hockey can F off all the way, uh, largely uh, because this person probably never watched hockey anyway. So, again, pe more people who aren't fans trying to push what it is that they want on the sport and then never go turn up to watch it anyway. Uh, Planet Avalanche saying uh, NHL bans tape. What the heck, NHL? Why can't gay people enjoy hockey? They did. They can. They can. Nobody's stopping them from enjoying it or playing it. Uh, it's just about uh, the virtue signaling. They want to get rid of that because people are a little upset with it. Uh, why are these people saying it's? <laughs> why are these people saying it's anti-gay? Bettman didn't ban gay players. He's trying to remove a distraction, but made it worse because he's Gary Bettman, a uh, uh, moron with no social skills. And this is in response to the NHL washing its hand of pride warm-up jerseys was disappointing, a cowardly but predictable <laughs> the pride tape ban is next level. Um, yeah, no, it's just, it's more about just decency really is what it is. Looks like the NHL got the message. NHL reportedly bans rainbow tape and outraged sports journalists are signaling their virtues as Ron, uh, Reinhard Dizon on Twitter. Uh, and, uh, they getting, getting some of the players in interviews to respond to this. This is one player, Zach Hyman, who's asked about the decision to ban the tape. Well, bigger picture here, Zach, the NHL is made it known that pride tape bigger is not picture hey? players have the option of using mm -hmm. anymore in warm-up or you know certainly in games and that sort of thing um, what do you make of, of that decision to not make that an option for you guys anymore even if you wanted to yeah I think it's pretty clear where where I personally stand on on pride and and the issues surrounding uh, it which is crazy but um, I would say that it's a league mandated Thing. It's you know, not exclusive to Pride. There's going to be other things. We can't we can't really do anything. We can't put any tape on our stick or all the jerseys. I think are gone and things like that. So it's out of uh, our hands. I know personally, I, I enjoyed you know wearing the Pride jersey, you know, or the, the Pride tape and military jersey. And uh, we had a Willie O'Ree night, uh, Indigenous night. All those uh, great things that we support. You know, we'll be able to support them individually, but. Um, collectively, that's that's not going to be that's out of the players' control. So uh, disappointing, but uh, um, out of our control, obviously. 
I'm glad it's uh, we don't live in a collective society. <laughs> we live in an individualistic society. So individually, you could do these things and you can't force that collective on other players. Largely, the, the contention in this whole issue was players being forced to wear the pride jersey not the other way around it was it was a big issue and then when they spoke up against it the cancel mob that came along with it that's when the big issues came in and and now it's being banned now of course also uh largely because of some of the marches that have been having around uh, happening around the country another march coming up uh for uh, <laughs> against uh you know uh teachers indoctrinating children and that's uh it's a big issue and it looks like the NHL is seeing who just who's supporting that, and they're going, okay, maybe we should maybe back down on this one. Gary, on, oh, who's obviously a hockey fan, on Twitter here, for everyone piss moaning about NHL banning pride tape, are you okay if players start <laughs> taping their sticks with Confederate flag tape? Or is that offensive to you? Leave your politics at the door and let everyone enjoy the game without the BS. Thanks, signed fans and clearly this guy's a fan of the oilers and well uh, yeah it says right here gary uh a vax free albertan uh, tired of living in this liberal induced bio <laughs> bizarro world and that's where we're at with this who else uh oh canada saying on twitter just gonna come out and say it not wanting to turn the nhl into yet another lgbt focused organization does not make them anti-lgbt Everyone is free to do what they want in their bedroom. Just don't need to shove it in everyone's face nonstop. It's okay for hockey to just be hockey. And that's kind of where I'm going to leave it there. It is okay for hockey to just be hockey. And when when did this all happen? When did it happen that everything needs to be forced on people? And again, like I said, it's not it didn't it didn't become an issue until players were not comfortable with the things that were being foisted on them. Largely, people put up with it for a long time, and you know, people were just not into it. Uh, finally, it was uh, it came to a, a point where they said, "No, enough's enough. We're just going to get rid of all of it, and we're just going to go back to players wearing their uniforms and using normal tape. Apparently, they can use any color." Uh, and this is where some activists have been advocating that because they can use any color, break the rule by using all of the colors. Anyway, we'll <laughs> see where that goes. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think about this. Uh, I'd like to see things just go back to normal. But any any big, big hockey fans, someone who catches every single game, leave a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think. And we'll see you in the next one. Keep on tracking.